Well, here's the end of the first day. You can see what all's been done. I still have to trim these back because these are just going crazy. Sorry if I sound a little winded. It's been a long day. This one has its dressing of mulch and chicken manure, chicken straw bedding, whatever you want to call it. So does this one. That cherry is now doing good. I managed to push that area back just a little. It's another little cherry there. That is for a tree, which I have coming later this week. This one, spot where the flag is, that's probably going to be either a blueberry or a fall gold raspberry. That one's nice and tucked in and it's cleaned up a little more. Got rid of a lot of stuff. This one here is also got its dressing. And that does, that's not only for fertilizer, but also to keep the weeds in check. I've taken the trees out that were there, the wild ones. I've still got that one to take out, but that's going to take a saw. The same with the stumps there. They're just too big for loppers. I went ahead and topped off the Nanking because there was just too much tree for two little roots. But it should bounce back. The roses, that's still going to take a lot of work. They don't look none too happy because the rabbits keep eating them off at the ground level. The fig is undone. I've still got to spread it out and dress it with some manure. That looks nice and tidy. And this one is a, what are you? Gold Rush. Oh, right there's a tag. Gold Rush. That's the cherry. That is where the other trees were. I've taken those down. I know there's trash underneath there, but I still can't get to it because of all the blackberries and wild roses. This needs a lot of work. That's supposed to, there are some rose bushes underneath there. It's just going to take work to get them going. That's where I'm going to put in some corn. And I've got Jerusalem artichokes down on that end of it. That still hasn't much changed. Another one here. Probably either the blueberry or raspberry is going to go here. And then a tree here in this spot. Not sure, maybe another one there. But this is where I've spent most of the time. I got this all cleared out. And exposed the fencing. I need that because I'm going to put another fence up for a dairy cow. And also use it in a pergola for some grape vines that I'll be putting over there here soon. It was loads of fun because this has been basically it's been in the same spot for about 10 years. I tried keeping a few small horses and that didn't work out at all. So it's just laid here for about 10 years. I dug up another post. The fencing is loose all the way down to here. From there, you can see it laying there now, all the way to here, probably going to end up cutting it, and then probably tomorrow I'll work on that area in there, get everything cleared out from around it, 
That way I can hook a come along to it and probably brace it on that that pear tree over there above where I'm going to cut it off and graft it. That way it won't hurt anything. And just pull it up little by little and then hook onto the telephone pole until I get it up to the road where I want it to go. But these posts, finding those saves me five to seven dollars each so I can get those cut off and use them for the trees. But that's about what I've gotten done so far for the evening. I'm taking it all the way back to the fence. All the way over there, so that's quite a bit accomplished in one day. I honestly didn't think I'd ever get around to it. Well, I hope that you have enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, and or comment. Let me know what you think, any suggestions, etc. Take care.